Hello. I am going to ask you a question, and you're going to tell me what you think. What do these objects have in common? The jock strap, a pair of handcuffs, beautiful white dress glove, leather, white leather kid glove and a banana. Think about that for a little bit. And meanwhile, while you're thinking, I'm going to do some drawings. So the first one I'm going to do is a drawing of the jock strap. So let me move it out of the way and I'll start in drawing. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. Here's the, the wide band of the the waistband of the jock strap. There's the label at the top here. Comes down. The pouch. And then the, th the thin the thinner leg straps. So let's just draw the stripes here on the wide band. The um, woven knitted, I guess. Uh, patterning on the pouch, and then the thin elastic bands here, and each band sort of catches the light slightly differently than the other, and we add our highlights. finish with the band. And the shadowing coming down here. Shadowing coming down here. And again we sort of add a little bit more uh, detail to the pouch thing here. And then maybe add a little bit more. So there's the jock. Very graceful, elegant thing. You wouldn't think something that normally is not thought of as being very elegant is now in fact elegant. Well anyway, I think it is. So there's that one. Now let's draw the the white uh, gloves. <clears throat> Let's see here. How are we going to draw that? Okay. Fingers come down here. The thumb. You don't see the thumb. It comes back down here. The, the long. I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to show the back, the uh, underside of the glove that has those beautiful buttons. Because they're more, they're more beautiful, I think. So you have these, these pearl buttons and the little um, buttonholes, of course. These gloves are just amazing. Uh, I don't understand what it is about our ability to lose this our style of of uh, formality. You used to well, not you, me, but women used to wear these white gloves all the time. And this opening here was actually used. You would keep the glove on. You'd move it sort of back a little bit. You could put your hand through here and play the piano, for example, rather than having the, the gloves, having your fingers in the gloves, you would just move your hand through the, through the, the hole that was there. And anyway, so we draw the, here's the thumb, here, you see how I'm drawing it here. And then here's the openings, and you get 
a really lovely uh, image here, I think. The glove, you know, the long back of the glove is behind the, the, f the fingers here. Of course, you have to have the middle finger a little bit wider. The light hits the fingers here. The shadow of the, of the thumb you see cast down here. Um, this is a little darker here because it's folding under. And then up here you have the, uh, the, the, the glove where it's folded over. So anyway, there we go. There's that one. And what's left here? We've got the... Oh, we have the handcuffs. So what the heck? How are we going to draw these? So anyway, so put them right here and draw these. So here you have a pair of handcuffs. And meanwhile, are you still thinking what what these things have in common? Keep thinking. Here we have, I'm laying them on top of each other here, rather than side by side. They're sort of uh, lying on top. You've got the chain here connecting the two. And here's, you know, rivets, and here's where the key goes. And the chain at the top. Um, let me fill it in quickly here. Another rivet here where the two halves connect. And down here you have the the uh, toothed uh, or geared or whatever the word would be um, locking mechanism. And then the one behind it, slightly offset. And then the light hits it a little bit differently. There's a shadow cast by the one on top. And its locking mechanism is up behind the top one here. I'm exaggerating some of the... Of the uh, highlights here so you can see better. But anyway, so there's here's the pair of of uh, cuff, uh, handcuffs, cufflinks I was going to say. I guess that's what police people say on law and order. Get out the cufflinks. Anyway, <clears throat> there's there's that one. And lastly, we have our banana. And the banana, banana isn't as interesting all closed up like this, so let's peel it a little bit. And since I'm a little, I haven't had breakfast yet. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. So let's drop. Well, one more little bite. Let's draw it like that. So, the bottom of the banana is here. And one peel looks like it's coming up like this. And here's where I Here's where I bit the banana, my teeth marks. The banana is a little bit riper than I like, but that's what happens when you forget about what food you have in the in the house. Whenever people visit my kitchen, I say, "Are you do you have your tetanus shot?" It's not really tetanus, it's who knows what botulism. I don't know what what shots you get for that. Anyway, so then we have another peel. There's three peels, I guess, on a banana. 
and then you have the third one here. Let's see. One, two, again, the banana is sort of held together by just at the very bottom. And then finally you have, you know, maybe the other, the final peel here. So it can, you know, let's uh, sort of exaggerate the, the inside of the peel. The inside of the peel is, of course, lighter than the outside. Here it looks like you're seeing essentially all of the inside of the peel, not the yellow part, but the white part. And you can sort of exaggerate the, the line work. And the stem is way up here at the top. So we maybe, maybe this you see the, the yellow part at the top and then the white part below. And I think I still need to exaggerate the, what the banana that's left here. And uh, here's the fruit, and again the peel. Okay, I think time's up. What do, what do these things have in common? The jock strap, the jock strap, the banana. White glove, and last but not least, the handcuffs. You give up yet? Well, let me show you. How did we start it off? Jock strap, gloves. Handcuffs, banana, P, I, P, I, E, R, pure. Lift it up here so you can see them all together. <coughs> Pier. Sorry, my el elbow's in the way. Yes, you're right. You got that right away, didn't you? These are all fonts that I've designed. And I'll give you a, a clue as to how I've designed each of these um, in other videos. I'll start with the jock strap because that actually is, is the one that... Uh, sort of was surprising uh, and a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two.